TGIF, happy Friday. Look, freshly done nails. Um, I'm also feeling much better, and I just thought I'd throw out and point out for all of you that think I'm always cheesily color-coordinated, there's nothing here that makes any sense. Blue, leopard print, pink, black pants. I'm gonna have to just show you the shoes. But I actually, I've got to tell you, so I've been wearing these, um, I mix up my shoes all the time. And I've also learned, because I'm blessed enough and lucky enough with my work to be sent shoes from a lot of these great um, apparel and shoe brands. And I've started, ooh, look, this does have a little heel on it, which you know is why I like it. Um, I've started to figure out, um, it's, it's kind of obvious that you need a running shoe for running. But incidentally, some of the brands are starting to make shoes that are more cross trainers, but they've made sure that you can wear them for running. I think maybe, and I don't call myself like, you know, obviously a hardcore runner. I don't do marathons or anything like that. Um, so people that, that do that regularly can speak more to this. But I think probably those people wouldn't in the past have bought a, a cross trainer shoe and worn it running and then done that for other things. Um, I like the flexibility of being able to do, you know, because now I'm doing, um, hopefully, especially now Q2, which I'm going to talk about, that's all I'm talking about today. We're doing shorter vlogs, people. My new goal, all my vlogs, 10 minutes. We're going to do it. If I reach my goals so far and kicked this much ass in Q1 of 2013, my eggs are on the stove. Um, you know I'm going to do it in Q2, which means letting my eggs cook and not worry that it's going... So anyway, um, a lot more of what I'm going to do in Q2 is mixing up my cardio. Q1, I did a lot more, which I love. Uh, it's easy to do what you love and kind of keep doing the same thing. But I'm obviously loving, this is what I did this morning, Turbo, sorry, this is Turbo Fire. Turbo Fire, Les Mills Combat, um, started throwing in some insanity workouts again, Kathy Friedrich, um, Kathy's got both the weight training and the cardio, yada, yada, yada. But, um, now Q2, I'm gonna make sure I hopefully divide that kind of equally in a third, a third, a third, which would be a third working out at home doing this kind of stuff, which is a lot of kickboxing and boxing. Great for the upper body, great for the lower body, people. Great for the buns. Um, stairs at the gym, so the Stairmaster, um, the new Stairmaster, those rotating stairs, that'll kill you. Um, it's an amazing sweat fest. And then running, I'm really back to running outside and I'm very paranoid about these eggs. You're going to have to come with me. Okay? Sorry, because I just get really freaky about the eggs. Um, do I even have... Sorry. See? Do you see the eggs? Here we are. We're cooking the eggs. You can probably see how dirty my pan is. I'm just going to turn it down a little while we're talking. Um, and that means it's going to be a really quick vlog. Okay? But anyway, back to my shoes. So these are the new Under Armour Spine. See that? Um, and I really like this, obviously. I've told you guys that I have preferences that tend to be a little different than a lot of my influential ambassadors, a lot of other people. So I'll tell you what kind of, what matters to me. That's a Faith Hill song. Um, what matters to me and what I like, because other people, you know, you've got to choose a shoe that fits, obviously that fits, but also fits your style and what you like. I really like a very solid bottom on my shoes. I don't care if it's for running, or for kickboxing or cross training or, or whatever. I really like a solid bottom. And I also just like the feeling when I'm in a shoe, a lot of shoes, they've made them so comfortable and breathable that your feet, it's almost like you feel like you're wearing socks. And I personally don't like that feeling as much as feeling that when I put my foot in, that there's like a clamp and that I'm solid and I'm not gonna move, my foot's not gonna move side to side or kind of move around like that. Oh, look, I'm doing abs, look at that. So anyway, this is what I was wearing today. Um, I, I need to flip this because I'm, I'm really paranoid. Just two seconds, I swear to God. Not going to take long, I'm just going to flip the eggs. See how good I'm being? Uh, two seconds, I'll be right back. Flip, oh, it's a thing of beauty. You have no idea how good this looks. Okay, I'm back. Also, here's my burn, 525, bam. So, uh, ugh, I don't have my phone. Um, Michael is uh, going to be so proud of me and I need to Instagram this. The world will stop if I don't Instagram my polar heart rate monitor this morning. 
Anyway, so yes, um, I am on day, when did I, I went to the doctor Tuesday. So I've been on antibiotics Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and today I can still feel just a little bit. Certainly, <laughs> I don't have an animal inside my throat like I did before um, when my lymph nodes were so swollen. So I feel much, 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 much better. Um, got my taxes done, that was sure a pleasure. As much of a pleasure as it is when I flow visits every month. Anyway, so I'm at five minutes. Here's the thing. Um, specifically wanted to talk about, you know, cardio. You guys have been emailing me a lot about cardio specifically. Let me, re I'm going to re-articulate what I did Q1, talk to you about what I'm doing Q2, and then give you, you know, my recommendations and, and what I find really fun. Because so many of you are like, I don't like cardio. Well, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> And I'm also not going to prescribe anything for you. I'm not a trainer, not a dietitian, yada, yada, yada. So, you know, I, have, I do this stuff and I was just glad that Michael, when I started training with Michael, that he was cool with me doing more cardio. Because I like a lot of cardio. Obviously, I like my hot yoga and I like my um, hardcore weight training. So this mixes everything in. And I do think it's the fact that I'm doing all of those. Let me shut the stove off. One second. Um, Hold on, I'm going to show you. See? See how perfect that is? <laughs> I almost put it right by my face. If you guys had any idea how many times, that's how scatterbrained I am, not that this should surprise you, um, that I've put eggs on the stove and then I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'm just going to go grab this thing out of the laundry. And then I start, oh, let me just fold the laundry. Oh, let me put a load in. And then I'm like, what's that? What? Oh, uh, eggs! I do it all the time. Oh, the cheesy love song. <laughs> Anyway, I'm staying on track. Um, so, Q1, my typical cardio, and I still do this. I get up first thing in the morning, and I, of course it's not here. I come out here and I make my ProSculpt, my Genetics HD. I have to tell you, I am so addicted to this stuff. I get the blue raspberry, there's a red flavor too but it's blue raspberry. And then I take, so I take the full stack from GNC, uh, Genetics HD line. Um, so there's the drink that you take before cardio, then you take, I take the pills with my vitamins after breakfast. It's like a bird's nest up there. Um, I take, so I take my vitamins and my um, Pro Sculpt, is it Physio Burn? I think that's Physio Burn. Um, and then I take the, um, I'm going to start taking those pills before my weight training, I think. I've got to really look at everything and make sure, you got to be careful when you're starting to take supplements that you talk to somebody who actually knows their stuff before just, it's kind of like mixing medications, I think. You want to be very careful. You don't just, oh, let me add this and this and this, or you'd be like, ooh, at night, which you guys think I'm like that all the time, but see, I haven't even had any coffee yet, and look how energetic I am. Ah! Um, anyway. Um, I really don't have a lot of time. I have a massage today, and I want to give you a preview really quickly of something, but I have a minute and 30 seconds, so I'm doing this. I'm doing 10 minutes really quickly. Get up in the morning. I come out here. Um, I put my heart rate monitor on. I get all dressed. I come out here. I chug this. I go into my room, usually, but we are going to mix this up. I'm, I pick one of my favorites, you know, DVDs, whether it's Kathy or Les Mills Combat or Turbo Fire, whatever I feel like doing, always mixing it up. I never do the same thing two days in a row do my cardio, come in here and I eat my breakfast. Then usually, kind of in the beginning, I was doing a second cardio, 30 minutes or less, sometimes 20 minutes, um, at night, you know, right before bed. Um, empty stomach as well. Now on days that I did weight training, so say I went to do weight training at the gym at like six o'clock, I do my weight training and then I do the stairs after that for 30 minutes or 20 minutes. Um, so I'd either do it that way, or if I wasn't weight training, I would just do cardio at night. Now. 45 seconds. Honoring my commitment. Um, now what we are doing is, you know, we really want to take things up a notch, number one, and then number two, really make sure I'm getting more variety in there. A, because I really enjoy running down in Florida, and B, because running's good for your lower body. It really does amazing things for mine. 
Um, but I think it's running combined with kickboxing, frankly, you guys. I cannot believe the changes in my thighs. Like, this is coming from somebody, I'm gonna be in 11 minutes, get over it. Um, this is coming from somebody who's always had very, I have thick thighs anyway, I have very, my dad's muscular legs, but I've also always had saddlebags and fat on my legs. My legs have leaned out so much, like sometimes I catch myself looking in the mirror going, and I, the thing is, is I got away from analyzing myself every day. So then later, I don't know whether it was, I don't know when it was along the way that I started to go, oh my God, like my thighs are getting so thin. Like, oh my God, my saddlebags have shrunk. Like, oh my God, my butt is getting F-I-N-E by. I'm sure my neighbor enjoyed that. So here's what we're gonna do Q2. Told you what I did Q1. Q2 is going to be mixing it up a third, a third, a third running, working these out at home, you know, whatever I want to do, my DVDs at home, and then a third of mine, or at least three, at least three sessions um, on the stair machine at the gym. It's great for your tissue. You just have no idea. Plus, it's a killer burn. Now, I'm talking about the rotating Stairmaster, not the old school. I don't even know if they make that old school one where you're just up and down, up and down like that. No. Do the rotating stairs and then fix your feet or change your feet. So sometimes you step on it and, and your foot's like this, I'm gonna be at 12 minutes. Okay, under 12, that's it. Sometimes your foot's like this, sometimes you put your feet out like that, sometimes you put your feet in like this, sometimes you step wide and then you step close, sometimes you step up and go on your, your, um, your toes. It makes the time go by fast too when you mix it up that way. People will stare at you, but really they're looking at you because you look good. <laughs> So that's the goal, that's the cardio. I need to eat. I have done it. I have stayed under 12 minutes. Look at me. <laughs> feeling great, feeling better. I'm so excited. I'm just upset that I have to take antibiotics for like another five days, which really annoys me because they're like horse pills. But again, big scheme of things, it's not that big of a deal. You guys have a great weekend. I will talk to you tomorrow.